Terra von Bertel. Welcome back already, the 1v1 mid-championship continues here, we've got semi-finals actions and to start things off we've got RTZ versus S4 and we've got some new heroes. Windrunner versus Windrunner. I don't think I've ever seen S4 play this hero. 30 seconds to battle. Um, hmm. I think you need to pull out the, the Dat Dota 4 almost, but uh, yeah, S4 not known for his Windrunner play. Arteezy's been fiending this hero in pub games for a while. He's all about that solo mid Wind Ranger, at least as far as his stream is concerned. But how they match up here in this one v one mid matchup? Who do yeah. you favor? Who do you think takes I think, the I think Arteezy. Um, I think the heroes suit more, that are more up his alley. It's SF on the third round. Second round is Lena, which probably isn't doesn't benefit either side. And Wind Runner, I definitely think Arteezy plays more. Um, S four. Again, I think of him more as a tempo controller rather than a lane dominator, and RTZ is more yeah. lane, dominor, lane dominator than a lane controller. Yeah. RTZ with an interesting block. He lets the range creep out in front, doesn't even try to block this range creep, and this range creep's way out in front, will instantly die. Interesting choice. Uh, does get last hit though by uh, the S4 on the Radiant side. So, uh, what's kind of uh, looking at Windrunner versus Windrunner? What are like the big keys here? Are you looking like max power shot and just spam out and farm, or are there other kind of yeah. tricks to this? 131 is a standard build. Um, if you want a tower dive, you just have to have at least one level Windrun, and you can often bully people out if they make the slightest mistake. And of course, the landing shackles is going to be heavily important if this game lasts longer than five or six minutes. Sometimes you can go with a surprise um, surprise kill if you have like a little bit of higher of a wind run because they won't expect that. But it also depends on which side you're on. I think that uh, Radiant actually has a slight disadvantage in this matchup okay. because you're closer to the trees, much more likely to get shackled. Yes, if you're especially from the back foot, you're more likely to run into a, a shackle shot there. But uh, uh, other, other things, um... Gonna, I'm, I'm looking looking at the uh, the other build, Focus Fire, do you think you should be looking to get that at level 6? It's 75 mana cost now at level 1, is it mm. worthwhile or is it still uh, not quite just? I don't think so. Your shackle is just really important to have. It gives you a lot more uptime and a majority of your damage will be from power shot early because you can just win run if they Focus Fire, not a big deal. That's what with a nice little power shot last in there from afar. So uh, he's uh, staying on top of the CS for now, 8 CS to 6 CS, both players with 2 denies and make it 9. So. S4 with an early lead here as far as last hits goes. And looking to power shot from trees. <laughs> Sneaky play there. He's just trying to spam the power shot just for harass there. Like he wasn't even going for a last hit, but being very liberal with his mana so far. In terms of the starting build, both of them going for a no talisman into tri branch. And yeah. you're not really at risk of dying very, very early. Not like a quap. Uh, on quad matchup with boost first like we saw earlier in the day. There is still a rune that's been sitting there for about 20 seconds Seems on a top lane. players want to rush their bottles for now. Mm -hmm. Like, even just going to scout that rune out is potential lost CS or lost denies and much even on CS now. Well, Ar CS to Arteezy going for his other build that he's going for, the double no talisman, skipping over the bottle. Okay. But he can get bullied out. He only has two more tangos, which is not even enough to fill his, up H fill his HP up right now. And he tanked another power shot too, so he has 500 HP deficit. That's the thing, he gets these two Null Talismans out, but with his current HP he has to play safe. I mean, you don't really want to be playing safe when you've got two Nulls versus one, so... Yeah. He wants to, yeah, he brings out the south, he wants to heal up ASAP. He's actually going to battle this with Windrun. Forces S4 to do the same. He's going high ground. Power shot could be the first blood. He doesn't get the right click off. Goes for the power shot instead. Doesn't find it. And Bottle arrives to heal up S4. He's going to turn and power shot Arteezy. Probably see an insta. Well, doesn't have to bottle crow if he finds the rune. Oh, S4 actually went for the 0 2 2 build. So this is stronger, I'd say, in between 5 through 7. 4 through 7, actually. Oh, he actually might go for the kill right here. Arteezy. Ooh. Trying to bait him in. That maybe. last second win run. 
I and mean, now he has to self. Let's see if he drops his no talismans prior to self. No, no, he does not. Even the clarity. Not so dropping. He, he's still not going to be top though. Okay, well, he actually did bring another set of tangos. But I mean, that's a lot of region already spent. That's what, over like 275 gold right there. And yeah. that's not quite half a bottle, but it's still pretty close. Looking at the net worth difference, it's like a 300 net worth difference, even though there's one CS between them. I'm very... All the regen items. Why haven't either of them checked the rune? I think the DD is pretty significant in this matchup. Especially S4. Like, it's yes. so quick to scout the top rune as well. You only have to go like halfway there. It takes you like five seconds total to just... In daytime, it, at least. There. Yeah. Now that it's night, it's tricky. So he'll bring his bottle back out, S4. Could buy some observer wards to help him out, especially now that it's nighttime. Having the observer wards to give you the high ground, the like up, uphill vision in the mid lane can help out a lot as well. But I haven't seen it just yet from either players. And Arteezy has done a much better job of managing his mana, but he doesn't have the luxury of having a bottle to heal his mana pool back up. And Arteezy does have more damage though, 81 compared to 72 of S4. And actually, both of them going for the 0 3 2 build. Okay, so no shackle shot play. It's one of those things where if you're expecting a long match, you probably want to try have max shackle shot like around level nine, level ten. But they're probably both thinking it's not going to last that long. Maybe they can get a kill before then. So S4 himself going for a second null talisman. He says, "You can buy null tally, so can I." Arteezy with the HP advantage. They're trading history in the mid lane. Power shot goes through. That gets Arteezy low. He's going to go for a power shot, misses it though, and S4 going to turn around. Has a power shot in three seconds. Is he going to go for this? Win run is available for Arteezy, but he only has one or the other. He gets hit by this. One more right click could be coming in soon. Arteezy has win run. He's going to go for this. S4 is in trouble. He may get first blood. going to bottle it between right clicks. He can't do it though. First blood Arteezy. That level three win run owned him right wow. there. That 4.25 second duration, and that's why you go the win run, I guess. Triple no tells. <laughs> one less in a minute. He gives him all the money. He needs the extra HP. Like, I think if S4 was a little more vigilant about checking, like, there's not a great point in getting bottle if you're not actually going to check the runes. And especially when the other guy's not checking, you should have that venue available to a man. There's no way that Arteezy can bully him around like that if he gets that DD in the middle of the game.